one of the best birds. End of Wood Pigeon. Mr. Wood Pigeon or Miss Wood Pigeon. And they are so fat. I cannot get over the fact that wood pigeons are as fat as they are, as round as they are, as dumb as they are. Pigeons are very intelligent as a species, but they don't look intelligent. Mr. Wood Pigeon comes down to the bird bath, and then instead of having a bath in the bird bath like other birds do, he sits in the bath and soaks up all the water like a big sponge. And he just sits there, and if I look at him outside my window, he just looks at me like... Like, he doesn't know why he's there, even though he put himself there. He just... not having a bath. He's also too big. He will jump onto the feeder, not fit on it, and then have to fly back to the branch. And then he will do this over and over again, eating maybe one seed each time. And I don't think that seed is providing the calories to make up for the effort it takes to get it. Again, that doesn't stop him. We love that. When the pigeons are together, when they're preening each other, incredible absolutely incredible. I will watch Wood Pigeon for hours, and I have done, and I will do. Okay, next favorite bird, all other kinds of pigeon. We, we bred pigeons for food and for companionship. Pigeons have been our friends for centuries, and yet when we decided, when we found poultry and started breeding them, ooh, golden cookie, when we found poultry, we just chucked the pigeons out so that's where they are now. They're on the streets, living on the streets. And people were like, why are they here? We put them there. City pigeons, not afraid of you. They'll come and sit with you. If you put your hand out full of the seeds, right? They'll come and land on your hand. They'll come climb up your leg. I think that's great. And pigeons are, pigeons do not carry disease. People think that pigeons are carrier of di carriers of disease. Um, the diseases that they do carry tend to be ones that affect pigeons. They don't affect us. They don't carry rabies. They don't carry uh, toxoplasmosis. Pigeons are very clean. They have, they carry fewer bad diseases for you than dogs and cats do. All right, next favorite bird, ducks. Okay, every duck, my friend. Every duck I see, that's my friend now. Okay, mallards, my friends. Tufted ducks, my friends. You have crested ducks. Merganser. Rosy-billed potchard I saw, that was my friend. I did wake him up from a nap in order to get the picture of him. So he might not consider me his friend. Just, there's nothing that I could compare that to that would do it justice. I like geese. This is an unpopular opinion. I'm a big fan of geese. I like how angry geese are. I like that they're willing to defend themselves. Oh, birds aren't just gonna fly away from you. I mean, that's one. That's their main thing that they do. But geese are like, no, I can fight you, and I will fight you. Just come near me. Don't even come near me. I'll come to you. With geese, it is on sight regardless of the reason. They don't know you. They may or may not have babies to defend. They're just gonna get you. And I respect that. Oh, ooh, golden cookie. Yes. Plovers. Little plovers, ring plovers, little ringed plovers. It's like a bunch of different flavors, but they're all delightful. One of my favorite things about these guys, lazy. Where they put their nest? The ground. It's as good as place as any. They just, they just make, make a little scuff in the ground so the eggs got somewhere, so it doesn't just roll away. <laughs> and then they just lay the egg there and it's just on the ground and the mom will just sit on the ground on the eggs. And um, they're actually pretty well camouflaged for where they're laying the eggs. So, their biggest risk is just being stepped on by people. Uh, we put little fences around them. Say, you know, um, there are birds nesting here. Don't come here. Other favorites? Sparrows. House sparrows. Those are the ones we get here. Not to be confused with tree sparrows. Those are almost exactly the same, but they're little black spots on their cheeks. One of the most enjoyable things to hear in spring is that sometimes it sounds like the hedges are chirping at you. You walk past a particular hedge, if you're walking just past a bunch of houses, one of those hedges will just be 
alive with the sound of chirping in it, and it will be filled with house sparrows. They will just be inside the hedge, but you can't see any of them. If you look for a while, you'll see them walking past singing bushes, and I think that's one of the best parts of spring here. Uh, but one thing I have seen up close is swallows, and apparently they're a common sign of summer here, but I'd never seen them. I didn't believe them. I thought that was just a lie told by adults. I went to a field one evening, and um, firstly, the cows scared of me. They just walked away. They saw me, and they just ran away. Um, they ran into a different field, all of them. I felt like a god. And the sparrows, they did not fly away. In fact, they stayed. They were, they weren't concerned at all, trying to catch a bug, flying up in the air, and then flying by again. A couple of times I've seen them on telephone wires, and they are smaller than I thought they were. So they come uh, to visit from Africa, and then when it gets cold here, they go back to Africa, which is smart. This winter here is horrible. So, I'm going cooking. Clicky power. I'm making a billion cookies a click here. Another thing about wood pigeons, you can always hear them, even if you don't know where they are, because they go, hoo hoo. This is how you tell them apart from collared doves, which go hoo hoo hoo. The p wood pigeon, he'll do his cuckoo coo, cuckoo. I didn't realize cuckoos make the sound that cuckoo clocks do. I thought that was just a silly sound they put in the clocks. I just don't trust anything from the past. I <gasps> wood pigeon. And speaking of collared doves, I love collared doves. <sighs> They're so demure. If I had to describe the collared doves in one word, it's it's demure. They look so. They look just so. Mm. And I think that's incredible. Mandarin ducks. Mm. Okay, when it comes to mandarin ducks, the males get all the attention because, I mean, look at them. So male mandarin ducks get like all the attention. And that's fair. They look incredible. The thing is, the males, while they are fantastic, they are hiding the secret stars of the show, which is the female mandarin ducks. Look at this bird. She is so demure. Look at her winged white eyeliner. Have you ever? No. Not like she has. Maybe you did pull it off once, but did you pull it off like this? I don't... Can you compare? The female mandarin duck may be one of the cutest ducks ever. My love for the female mandarin duck cannot be overstated. I love the males too. Let's not, like, I'm not being duck sexist. Golden cookie. I imagine it's what people who believe in God feel when they're communicating with God directly.